day here in Western New York as we push through the season of fall. But when it's fall, it's football. College football to be exact. We are live here at St. Francis High School for Division Three college football matchup here between the Hilbert Hawks taking on the Line College Scots. First called game here for Hilbert's football program live here on Western New York Athletics on the YouTube page. My name is Jacob Fayak. Alongside with me is Tom Prince. And Tom, with both sides coming into this matchup, one team bouncing back after a good win last week in Line College. And as for Hilbert, as they finish the regular season finale, still trying to get that first win. Yeah, these are going to be two pretty evenly matched teams. I think we are really going to see a great game right here. Hilbert's fought through some injuries, has made some changes on this team that has been very helpful to this team. There's been moves from defense to offense, right? And there's been moves from offense to defense, right? They've been trying to get some guys in the right positions to be able to help with some of the injuries that they've had out there that they've had to you know, exhibit throughout a year. And with that, we'll quickly pause for the start of the National Anthem. And as both captains from both sides head towards the middle part of the field, like what you just mentioned, Tom, before the National Anthem started, there was a lot of roster changes in switch-ups here in certain spots when it was the offense or defense through the injuries. And obviously, with this still being Hilbert's very young football program, entering its second year as the Hilbert Hawks football team. A lot of movement, like you said, that's led to you know, both sides of the football changing it up, making it a challenge at times for the coach. Yeah, absolutely. But, Jake, there's something unique about Hilbert. They named different captains for the game, okay? It's very specific to the game to be a captain here. So to this week's captains are Roman Gasella of Orchard Park, are Noah Workman of Cheek Dawaga, uh, Luke Prince from Orchard Park, and then... Number 57 is the fourth captain. He's Amari Jenkins, who is from Amherst and also played at Erie Community College. So you could see four local schools representative in Orchard Park represented here twice. So Hilbert will start off with the ball here when the second half gets underway. As for lines, they will start off here as we get set and ready soon. So far, Hilbert, so far on the season, 0-7, but Lyon College coming into this matchup, 3-4 and four overall. Both schools that are independent, hearing a little bit from on Lyon's side of the field as they're still actually a relatively new football program as well. They've been around in the NAIA for about eight seasons, but they're about to make that big transfer over from NAIA to Division Three. Yeah, and, and they're already set for a conference, too. So they are ready to go uh, to play conference play next year to be a Division Three program. And then we already know that this is the second year for Hilbert right now, really trying to get uh, under their belts. They've got some big recruiting in front of them that we know is going to happen. And absolutely, with this being their last game, they will get a jump on the recruiting process because most of the other teams will still have games, and this will be brand 
they'll be done. So they'll actually be out there recruiting before a lot of the coaches get their opportunities from other schools. Number 12 for Hilbert Lincoln, Egan. About to get set ready to kick off here. 15 minutes on the board and on your clock you see as we are just about to get started here. Quick walk up and a high kick as kickoff is underway. And they immediately will call it fair catch. Right at around the close to the 40 yard lines where Lyon will start off with the ball. Tell you, one of the uh, big injuries that uh, for this season that it really helped that was a big help to that defensive line that we've seen out there because um, they've had some big injuries. We'll go over that in a little bit. Some of the guys are missing. All right, now the Scots will set up at a four wide receiver set. Quick pass, and it's immediately looked like it was broken up at first, but bobbled it and was able to make the catch over on the sidelines of their own team. One of the guys was the nose tackle, Derek Burt, uh, who's been injured, and he was a big player. Him and Luke Prince were the original were the original nose guys that were out there, and Luke is now flipped over to the offensive side of the ball. Pick up a forward, and they make it second down and six on the carry. Try to get met up at the line of scrimmage, but getting about a couple of yards or so as he's tackled right around the 40-yard line, picking up at least three more yards. The other one is Matt Berkey. So Matt Berkey, check this one out, listed at 6'7", 270, defensive end for Hilbert out of St. Henry, Ohio. He's injured right now, and that's a big, another big spot on that defensive line that they're missing out there. To quickly go third down and four with a four wide receiver set. Faking the pass, now trying to step back. We'll chuck this one downfield, and it'll fall incomplete. Had his intended man. That was number two, Jalen Babers, but it fell incomplete in fourth down and a nice three and out there to start off for Hilbert's defense. Absolutely. Did you see the push, too, by the defensive line? A great push. Get the quarterback outside the pocket is what they did. Just threw his uh, – missed the open man just a little bit as he went through a little far. And Quantrell Moss will be as the punt returner. And then number 50, Jesus Romero Castillo will be the man to punt this ball away. Boot this one, a line drive, bouncing past the 35, rolling around to Moss, but he'll just let this settle down at around the 14, maybe 13-yard line. And that is where Hilbert will start off their first possession of this game. You know, it is funny. How many kickers have we now seen uh, throughout high school that we cover, college now that we're covering, that you can actually see – the bigger guy is the punter now, right? We see it a lot all over, especially in the Western New York area. And now the offense for the Hawks steps out with number 17, their sophomore quarterback, Noah Workman from Cheektowaga, playing his high school career at West Seneca East. Starting out, they immediately go to the shotgun. One man in motion, three wide receivers, a snap, and then the outside carry. Trying to move it past the 15-yard line, and they'll spot him exactly over at the 16. So they'll give him a three-yard credit on the first down run. Even in the loss last week by Hilbert, you still saw them run for 140 yards, right? They are doing very well by the run, and he's had multiple 100-yard games. So it's something that you're going to look to see Hilbert try to do and open up that run game. All by himself, Workman going five wide receivers. And as the snap got away, penalty markers fly. And we'll see. It's going to be a false start and move back. Hilbert five yards. So you see, even little plays like that can take you out of the run game right now, right? So we'll see. Do they stick right now even though it's a longer uh, second down, or do they go to the air here? They'll try to go for the air on the second and 12. Looks like try to go for a short screen pass that time. It was caught by number 82, Charles Young. Gain of two on the play. 
So they did get a two-yard credit, so they'll be... Looks like they may have actually gotten a yard or so, so it'll be third down and 11. So we'll see right now, does Lions make the stop? Is it a chance that both teams go three and out here? So big third down right here, especially because you don't want to be punting from your end zone if you're Hilbert. Going with the four wide receivers, Workman getting that snap, immediately going to his right, and it was stripped away. And it's very deep into the end zone. Lions saying that they have the ball. And it's going to go to Lion College with the ball spotted inside the five. So I was wondering if his arm was going forward on this one. Like, I thought he was, he, he, his arm was going forward. It got knocked out. See? I, you, you couldn't see it right there, but it looked like his arm was, obviously, we're not going to get the real slow-mo replay, right? But you're really talking about, uh, maybe we are going to get it. <laughs> Let's see if we catch it. Is his arm really coming forward? Should this really have been a pass? See that? I think it was. I think his arm comes forward. I think this should have been a, a pass that not a turnover right here. Yeah, that looked very close. Yeah. I think his arm did go a little bit forward. And Hilbert's going to call a timeout here, their first one of the half. And we saw that instant replay right there. It was just about... Even if you slow it down to like a couple of frames, like three or four, you could see that arm slowly moving forward enough where it looked like it was going to be incomplete pass. Yeah, it really did. I actually thought, so we're going to see it one more time right here. Here's the real slow-mo. So now we'll see it, right? Here's the arm. Yeah, see, like it's come. I think I'm. I think he gets that. Like it's going forward at that point. I really believe that should have been an incomplete pass. I agree with you, Tom. That ball looked like it was in the process of moving forward before it came out of Workman's right hand. What a job by our producer, Tim Gardner, <laughs> man. I mean, come on. To get a slow mos like this, you're getting a chance to see it, right? And now, if you're a Hilbert fan, you're going, "Come on, I want that ball back." Virtually no challenges like that at this level here as the run getting close to the one-yard line, inside the one-yard line. That was Jalen Babers there trying to bulldoze his way. And now they're going to go for a no huddle here. Trying to push his quarterback into the end zone, but we saw the false starts right away. And that is going to be... Bit of a killer there on Lyon. Had a chance to get six, but instead they lose five yards. Boy, what a big, though. Could you imagine if Hilbert can actually make a stop right here, make them kick a field goal? But when you've got the ball at the one-yard line, that's got to still be a win right there for Hilbert. Oh, no oh no doubt there, Tom, especially now with this being a second. they got to redo the second down, which now puts them at an extra play to try to get this ball in the end zone. But Hilbert... Getting a little bit of life right there after that five-yard false start penalty. Out of the shotgun, trying to drive in once more. And Babers is able to get in for the first score of the game for Lyon. That hole was too big. Did you see that hole open up there? We'll talk a lot, especially about the offensive and defensive lines right there. But really, that's got to give a win to the offensive line right there of Lions. As you saw that open up, look at the hole that's here. Watch the right side of the line. Watch the hole that opens up. See the push? So what's because Hilbert's playing a 3-4 defense out there, what they did was focus on the center and push him out, and then that hole was open beautifully for them. Here's a snap down. The PAT's on the way, and for Romero Castillo, the point after try is good. With 11.43 to go in the first quarter, Lion up on Hilbert 7 to nothing. We'll take a break and be right back. This is West New York Athletics live on YouTube. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be.
Welcome back, everyone, to Western New York Athletics, live here on YouTube as we're just about to get underway here for kickoff. Romero Castillo kicking off for Lyon and having the return game right away for Hilbert, one of those guys being number 81, Bryce Robinson. Getting a walking start and running it, booting the ball down the field. It's going to go right to Robinson around the 15-yard line, trying to see what he can, trying to find a hole up the left side, up the middle, and getting to exactly the 30-yard line where Hilbert will resume their action on offense. I mean, really, even in the games that you saw were a little bit lopsided on the Hilbert side of things, what happened is really it's been turnovers and giving the other team short field, uh, short you know yardage, uh, and especially starting in the other in their own territory out here. When you do that, I don't care how good your defense is, you can't give them two yards, three yards, and that was one of the biggest opportunities right there. Raymond Gilly trying to bulldoze his way up the middle, and he will go to around the 33-yard line, picking up a gain of three. To me, this is a big uh, downs right here for Hilbert. First of all, you don't want to do another three and out, right? And you don't want the opportunity right here to be able to not take time off this clock or not start moving the ball at all or give them good field position so that it could be a possibility that you can go down by two touchdowns. And this time they're trying to run it up towards the right side. He's picking up the first down and more to around the 40. The 44-yard line picking up a gain of 11 yards. That was number eight, Darian Reed, the man out of Cleveland, Ohio, able to make the big play. And uh, what a great run right there. You could saw waited, was very patient right there to wait for his blocks to open up, and then he took off to be able to get that first down, which I thought was a great opportunity. Now he'll move out towards technically as a receiver. He's number 14 as well. Devon Cockrell towards the right side. This time, another option play towards the right side of the midfield marker and tackled it around close to the Lions' sidelines. Did get nine, around nine yards on that play. And once again, Ramon Gilly, along with him and Darian Reed making three straight running plays, but getting the yards and getting the offense moving down the field. And we said this. Remember at the beginning of the game, we said we're going to watch them run the ball. They do it very effectively right here. And this is where you can see this has been a line that has gotten better and better and better each week. And now you're seeing it come to fruition with these runs. Going with the four wide receiver set. Workman's pass, and that was incomplete miscommunication there by one of the receivers. Supposed to be a quick pass to the right. No one was able to turn around to attempt to catch the ball, and it will remain a third down, but still one yard to go. Well, he didn't have much time either, so that ball had to come out of his cans quickly. It may have been a play that needed a little bit more time to develop, but, it, you know, you didn't want another turnover right here. This time, all wide receivers towards the right. Just needing one yard, they do, and they give it to the big man in Reed, picking up the first down and more, pass to the 40, and down officially at the 35-yard line. And Darian Reed, the freshman there, making a big play. And as we see on the replay here, Tom, that outside O-line making some big blocks to get him around, and the wide receiving blocking was very crucial there as well. That was the exact point I was going to bring up, Jake. Good eyes right there because that was really where they were going to use everybody to block to get that first down. Now they both have Reed and Gilly into the backfield. Who's going to get it? This time it's Gilly, and he's met up with two flags flying in. Originally back at the line of scrimmage. This is going to be a hold where you can see the defender getting thrown to the ground right here. Um, no doubt was a hold by the offensive line. And you see the official call there by our head official for this afternoon's game. But this, so. is, this is where, like we talked about, Jake, if you're going to be a run team right here, these long first downs because of penalties, 
does make that opportunity harder. So what? remember, you don't need the whole chunk right here. You got to get, though, a good burst to be able to make it a shorter second and third down opportunity. This time going four wide receivers. Workman feeling the pressure. Going to have that extra blocker. He's going to go ahead and scramble. Try to get by one defender, but he's immediately wrapped up and taken down by number 49, Nate Sarver. But getting close back to that original line of scrimmage, able to pick up some extra yards, was down at the 41. I saw Darian Reed out front. I don't know if you saw that. I thought he had the blocker there, but unfortunately wasn't able to hold that block long enough. But I thought if he held that block, there was a good chance he was going to get even possibly five, six, seven more yards added onto that run. They're going to go three wide this time, two to the left, one to the right on the second and long situation. The snap, the fake, the throw, and it is caught by Robinson, spinning to try to shake off one defender and immediately tackled by number 21, Gerald Clear, gaining about a couple more yards, but it'll be third down with 11 to go. Now, you're in the territory, though, where you're going to get two shots at this, right? You really can go for it if you want the opportunity because you're so deep right now in sidelines territory. Going with four wide with Robinson in motion from left to right. Workman all by himself. Quick pass is caught. Screen play to around the 30-yard line past the 35, and they'll officially stop him actually at the 31-yard line. So fourth down, like you said, they're going to try have a chance to go for it here. And that big wide, rece wide receiver screen, excuse me, was able to help get those chunk of yardage. Yeah, and that was a good call right there, especially when you see a defensive line that's getting good penetration. That's a great way to take care of that penetration with a nice little screen pass. That last play was a pickup of seven. So here's the fourth down and four. The snap and the give. They give it over to Gilly. He's able to pick up the first down and get some more yardage there as he walked away into the Lions' sidelines. Like you mentioned, four down territory, but the blocking off the right side for Hilbert's offense got them the first down and more. Yeah, great. I thought it was a great job right there. Um, I thought it was a great job right there to be able to make that call and be able to mix the pass and the run right there. It is a fantastic job of it. So that put them right around the 27, 28 yard line. First and 10, Workman trying to go for a deep shot downfield and it falls incomplete. The intended man was to his wide receiver, the sophomore Quantrell Moss. But hey, you know, you've done a lot of good Running plays so far, especially that right side, getting you a lot of blocking help, trying to take a shot downfield to get this game close. Yeah, no, I mean, you got to take shots. There's no doubt about it, right? And that was one you took it. And I like it that you took it on first down right there because now you're going to be able to go back to what your bread and butter has been so far, and that is run the ball. If you look at this, really what they've also done effectively by running the ball is controlling that clock. I mean, think of how much time has come off that clock right here. Sticking with three wide receivers. This time the man running up the middle, getting a tunnel of players to just push him forward. Close to that first down marker. He may have gotten it. And the chain gain moves once again. It's Darian Reed along with number 22, Ramon Gilly. This running back duo on this drive, Tom, has been done very well so far. A absolutely they have. That, and that's been... I told you, that was going to be, if they were going to have a big game, it was going to be on the ground today, and they really are starting off and showing you that they are being effective with the run. Another way to move the chains, and Hilbert is in the red zone. This time to the right, just keep it over to Gilly. But this time, Lyon able to sniff it out just a little bit, tackled by two players there, but still able to get positive yardage. And like you said, Tom, that clock keeps ticking. We're already at 520 five and counting here to go in the first quarter. Yeah, and, and that's what they're doing is they're keeping the ball in their hands. If they can do this throughout the game, right? Think about it. That I understand they're down 7 nothing, but they also gave them the ball on the one-yard line, right? So now you can say this. If you can do this and be effective and keep Lions on the field 
boy, anything can happen for the Hilbert team today. Second down and eight, and the flag flies. And it's going to be a false start on the offense to push him back five. And that's one of the, I guess, kind of the risk you could take when it's a long drive like this, Tom. Sometimes when you're able to get your team down the field, a lot of times taken off, and all it takes is that one flag that could possibly squander a chance to score. But they have overcome a flag already on this drive. They, right. You know, remember, they had a holding call and then overcame it. So let's see if they're capable of doing it again within this drive. So Hilbert just called another timeout. They now have one remaining here in this half. 4.57 to go in the first. Lion up on Hilbert. 7 to nothing. We'll take a break and be right back. This is Western New York Athletics live on YouTube. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Four fifty-seven to go in the first quarter. Second down and 13 for Hilbert. Going with three wide receiver set. All three of them on the left side. Now one man in motion. That's Moss from left to right. Workman getting the snap. Trying to look quickly over to him. And it will fall incomplete to bring up third down. It was tipped as Workman tried to find his man. Yeah, really, that was the reason why the tip pass happened right there, and that's the reason why the ball kind of went down at the feet of the uh, receiver right there for Hilbert. But, hey, here's a big third down opportunity. They do have somebody, obviously, that could still come in and kick, uh, kick field goals. So, worst case, you are in an area where you could still put points up on the board, but you know they want seven right here. Four wide receivers set. Darian Reed in the backfield with Workman. Try to get line to jump there, but they snap it off. Here's a pass, and it is intercepted by Lyon as he will get tackled around his own sidelines. That was number 21, Gerald Clear, as Workman was trying to find his wide receiver, Xavier, uh, excuse me, Galarza. You're watching the replay right now, as you can see. Uh, the interception right there as he does it almost right on the goal line right there and takes it right back up there to the 15-yard line. So with the chance to try to get points on the board, Hilbert's turnover there now pins Lions in their own territory. Here's a snap trying to juke and shimmy around past the original line of scrimmage and able to get about a couple yards or so. On the first down carry was number 20 for Lyon. Second down and eight, trying to go for a pass, and it's intercepted! It's picked off by Hilbert! And back to around the 20 yard line, is Roman Gosella, the sophomore, coming up big with an INT of his own. That's big right there. That really is big, and he comes, he reads the quarterback real well. You see the read right there as he jumps the route and then be able to take it down a couple more yards. But I thought Roman followed his eyes really well on that one to be able to jump that route and make that interception. And it was also tipped at first. He had to come back and corral it a little bit to get that full INT catch. So first down and Hilbert with a chance to try and tie this game up. Darian Lee able to get past the 10 to around the eight yard line and able to move the chains. Hilbert now in a goal line situation. Jake, I expect nothing but run down here, right? I think we're going to see run after run after run right now. They're going to try to run this right in that end zone. Right now they have Ramon Gilly in the backfield. 
Reed out as a wide receiver. Here's the snap and the play to Gilly to the left side and into the end zone. Hilbert scores. Ramon Gilly, the freshman, taking it to the house. Big play right there. Let's watch it. Watch the left side right there of the line, right? You got to get your blocks to make this happen. Look at the clog, right? They absolutely held those players there, turned them inside, and gives him the route outside to get out towards that end zone. And a great job right there by him in the line. Xavion Galarza had that big block up when Gilly was trying to get into the end zone. Not only blocked one defender, another guy was trying to come. He technically blocked it two at the same time. And this will be no good with 3.37 to go here in the first quarter. It looked like that was going to try. And they it skipped slipped. on the turf. What it did, it skipped. The ball skips on the turf. And he must have realized the holder right there, who is also Roman Casella, must have realized he wasn't going to be able to get the ball down. And that's why he took off running. But you saw the ball skip on the turf. He did catch it cleanly but sometimes they're not gonna be able to rotate the ball enough or do what they need to, and that's why I think he took off with it. So a 3.37 remaining here in the first quarter. Hilbert down on Lyon, seven to six. And as they are currently playing here at St. Francis High School, Tom, their football field is still currently in the works, looking to be finished up by next fall. But even though it could be done by next fall, they're still gonna play another season not only at St. Francis High School, but also at Frontier yeah, as well. and they've already done that this season. They've played at both of these fields already this season. And also at the same time, um, that field, that field should be broken ground from what I understand in the next week or two. We should see, uh, you know, Brown Grake on that field. So we'll see how that plays out. And uh, I think it's just they want to get an entire stadium that will be out there eventually. And a great opportunity because there will be a track, a couple other things that are going out there. Kickoff is underway at the 15-yard line, getting to the 20, now 25 with a burst of speed of 35-40. Now trying to get back to the midfield marker, and he does. Brown returns it out past the 50 a big return there by Brown, and officially at the midfield marker is where Lyon will start off with their offensive drive. But we talk about this, too, in, in every game. You and I do together. You need to win special teams in order to win a game, too, right? That is an absolute big part of the game. And right now, Lions winning that, right? If you think about it, extra point is no good for Hilbert. And then look at the field position we're seeing here on kickoffs. That's something that Lion has actually won, too. Hilbert's got to get that part of their game to be able to win this. One man in motion. First down play here. Wide receiver screen. And getting it up to around the 45, officially stopped at the 44. And that was number 81. That was Christopher picked up six on that play. So second down and four. The snap, it's high, it's bobbled. And the quarterback just trying to do something with that. And he's tackled well beyond the line of scrimmage and getting there right away. Number 32, Scotty Winchell, the freshman, the linebacker coming through. I actually thought he had a chance to actually get the ball and then take it up. Did you see the hesitation he had at that one spot? He came up as he was coming up in the pocket, made a hesitation right there, and that's when Hilbert took advantage of it. So third down and eight. It's the head coach. For a lion barking out the order, the snap, the pass, and it's too far for his receiver to go and reel it in. It's incomplete. The intended man was number 81 who had the catch on this drive but couldn't get it that time. It was number 81 Christopher Burris and saw the pressure for Hilbert off that left edge right there. Trying to get that pass off quickly, but just far out of the wide receiver's well, reach. This was a screen. They, they let him go through. That was what they wanted, those guys. That's why you saw them get through so easily. That was a perfect screen set up by them. But I'll tell you, the second-level guys stood back. They were going to make that stop right there. Punt on the way to around the 25, rolling around to the 15, and will stop officially at the 13. 
14-yard line. Yeah, on a play like that, Jake, the second-level guys got to make sure they read that screen so it's not wide open right there. They, you don't have second-level guys that are up farther also, which literally clears the field open for them. But a great job there by Hilbert to read that, react to it, and do a great job of making sure that they were there and, and, and then he doesn't make the catch because you can see the defense is right up on them. So right now with 2.08 to go in the first, Hilbert on their previous drive getting a big touchdown off the INT, but now in their own territory and ended up fumbling at that time, number 82, that was Charles Young. Luckily, that ball went out of bounds. Yeah, he knocks it out as he actually spins. You know, he was making a spin move, and I think was he making a spin move, the ball happened to be in a perfect spot for the defender to hit that one out right there. And there was no yardage, no positive yardage that time, so it'll be second down with about 10 to go. One with that three wide receiver step. One man in motion. And the pass here, it's blocked. And it was by number 49. That was Nate Sarver that time to get right in and block the pass. And twice down in this area, that's happened, right? We already saw the block pass that we thought was a block pass, but they actually called it a fumble down there in the one yard line. So they've got to be very careful down in this side of the field. So right now out of the formation, they'll go with four wide receivers and then number eight, Darian Reed, right next to his quarterback in Workman. The snap, the pressure, trying to go downfield, and it falls incomplete. Try to give it to his man, Xavion Galarza, but it falls and almost was actually intercepted, but it was tipped, batted, and falls to the turf. So I think they're going to have enough room to punt here, but you got to be very careful, right? He's got to get this one off so that at least they're not going to have incredible field position. But you can already see, look where the uh, they're going to go. They're going to stand right at the 50-yard line, so this is a big punt and possibly good field position for Lyon. So Lincoln Egan for Hilbert punting this one. A return man number zero for Lyon is Xavier Long. So penalty marker is down, and it's going to be a delay game on Hilbert. Delay of game on the offense. Five yard penalty remains four. And they do have the um, the clocks up. If you actually take a look, they're on tables. Is where the sh uh, not the shot clock, the the clocks right there are in each end zone. So you've got to realize that and there and be able to watch what that ref is when they're letting you know that you don't have more than five seconds to go. Here's the punt, as it's caught at the 46. Trying to use his blocking he can, and able to break off a couple tackles, spins around and it gets thrown down to at the 25 yard line, putting Lyon in a very great spot right there with 108 to go in the first. No, another, you're talking about another special teams opportunity right here for Lyon, as you can see, they're gonna get really good field position right here. And now you're asking the Hilbert defense to come up big again, which they've been doing so far, but they're going to need to come up big right now. Going with a four wide receiver set. Here's the snap. Fake to the running back. Trying to give it over to Xavier Long. But and the bobbling it falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Here's now the give over. Trying to run it up the middle, getting it close to that first down marker. And picking up nine there was number two, Jalen Babers there. 
Almost looked like Gilbert wasn't fully set on that one. Uh, you saw they were doing some moves, and it looks like they got them in the middle of a move right there to try to get set to make that stop. 40 seconds and counting, third down and one. As they'll stick with a three wide receiver set. Right now, I got two bunched up along the right side and one lone man on the left. Now, one man goes in motion, and a penalty marker flies. As you see from the quarterback there, he is not happy at all. As a false start on Lyon will push him back five yards, and that was big there, Tom. But the third and one, all you need is one, now you need is six. And it changes what you're going to do too, right? You have a chance where you can run, you can do different things on that third and one. Now you got to really think because what they've really done well, uh, Hilbert's defense, is stop the run so far today. So now do you think you're going to have to go to the air? What are we going to do? It changes that call on third down to try to get that opportunity for a first down. And with clock was ticking down to four seconds, Timeout was called by Lyon. Now be their first of the first quarter. That surprises me a little bit, right? I mean, you could have gotten away with the end of the quarter right there to do something. So with four seconds to go here, like you said, Tom, it was interesting to hear, you know, the head coach for line there, the call the timeout there. But just because you had the end of the quarter, it wasn't like the end of the half is coming right. up right now. It was only the end of the first quarter. But obviously he has, you know, a different way of thinking mm -hmm. than we do up here in the booth. So, so a four wide receiver set, third down and six. Here's the pass, the pressure's there, and that pressure done well that time as it falls incomplete. And immediately right there, number 99, that was Clifford Ziegler there to get into the face of the quarterback, Eli Funk. And that will be the end of the first quarter with a fourth down play. Seven to six, our score in favor. Lion will take a break and we'll be right back. This is West New York Athletics live on YouTube. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Welcome back, everyone, to West New York Athletics live here on YouTube. My name is Jacob Fyak. Alongside me is Tom Prince live here at St. Francis High School for college football between Hilbert and Lyon. Fourth down and six, Lyon gains set. For the field goal is LB Jesus Romero Castillo. The snap is down. The kick is on the way. And this field goal attempt is no good. So a big break right there. It had the leg. Tom just didn't get enough of the accuracy. And Hilbert going to have some really good field position to try and take this lead. So... But another defensive stop, right? So you've got to give Hilbert credit right now. Their defense has really come up big. Now their offense has got to do the same suit as follows. What we've seen, you've had success for the run. We expect to see heavy doses of the run. And really, they need to con keep controlling this clock the way they are in the second quarter. 
Sticking with their three wide receiver set. Trying to move it towards the right side, and there goes Reed. Trying to cut right through close to the 25. They officially put him at the 24 to pick up a gain about two to three yards. And I'll tell you, they've been staying consistent with that outside run, and it just seems no matter what adjustments Lions defense has made so far, they've been sticking to it, and they've been able to get the yardage. And, and, and what you keep doing it until they stop it, right? That's exactly what the thought process is here, and I'd keep doing the same exact thing. One receiver sent to left, two right. Here's a snap, and the pass this time caught by Robinson. Past the 25 and down at the 29-yard line. This will be a nice third and short coming up here for Hilbert, just little by little getting close to the first down marker. Now quickly, no huddle, four wide receivers set here. Snap, the fake, feeling the pressure, ended up bobbling the ball. Fumbled on the play. And it's going to stay with Hilbert. And that will bring up fourth down. Are they going to go for this? I think they're going for this. Now, we did see last year him do some punting, too, last week. Because the kicker was out of the game last week, the quarterback did some punting. So let's see if they do that or they're going to go for this. And there you go, Tom. Called it there, the pooch punt that time as it bobbles around to around the 30 and they'll officially stop at the 28-yard line. But what's good this week is last week they had to do that. This week, it's a wrinkle, right? Mm -hmm. Because you got your guy back, so you can do both right there is what you could do. So now, and again, three and out, though, right there. That's tough. But now you're asking your defense, you've got to come up big for us again. Now, at least you've got Lyon down in their own territory versus starting positions in Hilbert's side of the field, right? Now, at least you're in your own territory. Defense has still got to do something to do with three and out. There's the run play, trying to cut it over to the left side, shaking off one defender and another, and tackled at the 41-yard line, picking up more than enough for a Lion first down. Tackle there by Roman Casella right there, but that was probably one of the best, best runs so far the day for Lyon. The snap to fake the run, and it's going to be passed close to the 45, officially stopping him at the 44. That time Funk finding his receiver, Aiden Huntsman. Bring up now a second down and eight with three wide receivers. Faking that run play, going to be draw himself. Funk immediately met up behind the line of scrimmage. And it looked like he actually just got back to the line of scrimmage there. So no gain on that play, but it'll remain third down and eight. Nice tackle there by Amari Jenkins. You saw he got pumped too when he <laughs> hit the ground there at the end. You saw how excited he got making that big play right there. Now you're putting them in a third and long, which is where Hilbert has been effective so far today. They're looking to try to make a big stop right here and get the ball back to their offense. They're going to go four wide receiver set. Here's the snap. Funk trying to look for an open man. Hit as he's thrown. And a one-on-one -on -one contested here. And it looks like it's going to be a catch here by Lyon. Z picked up. Looked like the first down. They're, now they're both officials are going to talk about it. So this is not a given yet. They want to talk this one over. No, I – oh, <laughs> he was going with which way with his hand. It looked like they were going to try to point towards Hilbert way. Let's see what they do here. 
Now they're going to really talk it over. They want room. Oh, no. It looks like they're going to give this. So Reginald Brown There's had the, the catch. Right here. It was a battle between him and number seven. That was Thomas Pondexter, but they'll credit the offense that time with Reginald Brown reeling in the catch. And they're in Her Hilbert territory. Now the give, running it up the gut. And picking up about about five yards to make it second down. Brings up second down. Cooper Aiken on the stop for the Hawks. So a big play right there for Lyon. Now the offense is moving up tempo. Going with three wide receivers this time. Snap, trying to go for another draw play and immediately blown up. Wrapped up around the legs. That was Thomas Pondexter that time getting into the backfield. So ended up losing a couple of yards as well, Tom. Yeah, great job right there. And that's what you needed to do on second down because line has been very effective right now on the first down run on this drive. So that's a big stop. You're now putting them in a third and long again. You can't let that pass happen again like we did on the last couple uh, drives that we saw. Less than 10 minutes go in the first half. Third down and eight. Funk with the snap. Trying to look from left. Up the middle, now to the right side. Taking a deep shot, man, wide open. And he is in for the touchdown. That was Xavier Long. He's also had a big punt return. And now this time, a long touchdown catch right there as Lyon will extend their lead. Once he has saw that there, I mean, he was wide open. I mean, it really was. He was too wide open right there and literally walked into the end zone. So Romero Castillo, this time the two-point conversion, oh, excuse me, that time the no good. It was confused there if they were trying to fake it or it might have been just another opportunity where the ball was fumbled and just had to go with it. Well, no matter what now, it's, it's a win right there for Hilbert on special teams. So now at least if you get down and get in the end zone, you're just kicking the extra point to tie this game up instead of having to go for the two-point conversion to try to tie it up. So a big win and a big job right there for the special teams of Hilbert. 9.43 to go in the first half. Line up 13-6 to six on Hilbert. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back here on West New York Athletics. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Welcome back, everyone, for this Hilbert Hawks football action. Regular season finale for the Hawks as Romeo Castillo for Lyon boots this one away to around the 20-yard line. And off the return, Moss trying to go from left to right, tackled from behind by, looks like that might have been number 42 there on the play. That was Caleb Clark. Puts Hilbert there right at the 16-yard line with 9.35 to go. Tom, like you mentioned there, that opportunity that Lyon had to either kick an extra point or try to go for two, it didn't work there. But now Hilbert, you know, they get one big touchdown drive, and we see them kill clock with this run game. They have a chance to possibly take the lead. Here's Reed now towards that left side and picking up the first down and more. Darian Reed right there off the left side. <laughs> yeah, we had a big pancake block out there and watched one of the offensive linemen celebrate it at the same time. So moving the chains to around that 38 yard line. Hilbert sticking with three wide receivers. 
Reed going to motion over from right to left. This time Gilly with it off the draw play, able to sneak by to get up to the second level to around the 46-yard line, bring up second down. But again, see the methodical what they're doing. This is really, uh, if I'm Hilbert looking at this, it's you're going to stick with this game plan. you got to keep running the ball. For one, you're keeping this defense on the field for a tremendous amount of time, which will pay dividends in the second half for Hilbert's offense. But at the same time as you are really controlling that clock, and it could be your advantage in the second half. Breed that time immediately blown up past the line of scrimmage with a multitude of Lion defenders to wrap him up and bring him down. You're right in though that that you know that mid zone, right? Do you run it? Do you pass it? Right? What do you do? We may see some quick outs. Right, you may see a quick out right down to try to get a first down. I, we may even see that setup where you use your wide receivers as blockers. There's a lot of different things that we could see here as opportunities for the Hilbert offense. The snap, Workman from left to right. This pass caught by number 81 that time. It's Bryce Robinson, the sophomore, and Hilbert off the pass play moves the chains. Robinson coming up big multiple times today on some catches right here. That's a big first down, and now you enter Lion territory and hopefully an opportunity to keep the clock moving and an opportunity to put points up on the board. Over at the Lion 48 with a new set of downs. Going with three wide receiver, two tailback set here. Now the play, trying to get over to Gilly. And number 49 for Lion that time, able to sniff that one out. Sarver. In on the tackle. Fans, there's a red Alfa Romeo in the parking lot that is parked illegally. Once again, that is a red Alfa Romero in the parking lot that is parked uh, illegally. If you could please move that car immediately. Thank you. So probably one of the first first downs that we've really seen Hilbert not be effective by the run. So now you've got to make up for this to be able to get yourself in good yardage and good opportunities here for third down and a makeable third down. Off the second and 12 play, the pressure from Workman, and he is sacked. Rocked down by defenders there that time. That was Kendrick Wooten and number 93, Rene Dominique. Yeah, now you're putting yourself in a real tough position if you're Hilbert, right? So there really is not too many plays that you can call that are, you know, third and, and 21, right? There are not many plays out there. So you're looking to get a chunk right here. You're looking to do something. Could you even see a screen play at this point, especially the penetration because the line's getting right here? Here's a snap. This time it's the run play. By Reed, trying to get back to the midfield marker, but he stays in his own territory around the 48, 49 yard line. And they'll put it at the 48. Pooch punt again. Past the 15 and down at the 12 yard line. A little bit interesting there by Lyon, just not trying to put someone back there to punt or maybe just letting it go regardless. So with 5.06 to go here, Lyon up 13-6. to six. They have a chance to try extend their lead before a halftime hits. One thing about Lyon School, played last week, defeated John Melvin University 64-25, to and in that one, their, their offense was phenomenal there. They had eight touchdowns and went a perfect seven for seven in the red zone. So they'll keep continuing the run play of their own, getting it up the gut close to round four, maybe five yards. And Tanner Mobley there, the ball carrier that time. Brings up second down. Clock will keep ticking away with 4.45 to go in the first half. As they're just waiting for the play from their head coach, Chris Douglas. 
entering his fourth season as the football head coach for Lyon College. Here's the snap now. Try to go for the draw play once more. Getting close to that left hash to around the 21 yard line to set up now third down and about two to go. They're going to quickly try to bring this formation up here. Go a little bit no huddle. That time, run play once more. And did he pick up the first down there? He's close to the first down marker. And one of the officials say he just did get enough as the chain gain off the line's sidelines there will move. Just got enough for a first down. 315 counting to go in the first half. Line still sticking with that same formation. Three wide receivers set. Faking the draw play there. Funk trying to move towards the left side. Has a man and it bobbled incomplete. Underthrown that time. Trying to give it over to his receiver, number seven, Aiden Huntsman. He almost made a fantastic play coming back for the ball, but you had perfect defense right there. See the spot that he had? Perfect defensive, and I think if he would have turned around a little quicker, he may have even had an opportunity for an interception right there. That was a beautiful job by Nazir Stone, the defensive back there that time. So second down, still 10 yards to go. This time they'll just continue with the run play. Tripped up, but close to a first down marker. Number five there that time for... Lion College, they are able to do, run it up the middle there. That was Tanner Mobley, the freshman. Pick it up again, a six there. This is going to be a big stop here for Hilbert. Clock is ticking, so you give him a chance to punt here on fourth down, but they got to make a big stop here on defense. One man in motion from right to left. Another draw play. Shaking off one defender. Penalty marker is down. And unfortunately, Tom, I think that's going to be on the defense as the nose tackle there for Hilbert grabbed the face mask of the runner. So as run, one referee will move the ball up, get the official word from the head official, the... Face mask penalty on the defense for Hilbert. And I'll tell you, it was going to be close whether it was even going to be a first down, right? It was right on the edge right there, and unfortunately that's going to be the face mask call that's going to throw it over the edge. But so you're right, if you want another shot, excuse me, Jake, at this in, in, inside this half right here, this is a big set of downs right here where Hilbert's got to make a stop. Trying to go downfield. And that falls incomplete. Great coverage right there by number five, Kamiko Clark. He's trying to give it over Funk, trying to get over to number 84, Carson Douglas there. Yeah, I thought Clark was step with step with him right there. And you can see looking at the ball himself, I thought that was very good coverage by Clark on the outside. Clock stopping at 2.42, bringing up a second down with still 10 yards to go. Going with four wide receivers this time and immediately blown up and coming out of nowhere. The speedster, Cam, or excuse me, Anthony McCarley. Excuse me. Tavayon Roach right there, the linebacker coming up big into the backfield and losing about four yards on that play. Good call there by Coach. Great blitz right there. As you saw, Tavon Roach does a fantastic job of really getting in there as quickly as he did. Here's the snap. Pass, wide open receiver that time and able to pick up the first down and more. Funk to his wide receiver that time. Able to get it to number seven, Aiden Huntsman, as they get all that chunky yardage and more to move the chains. Huntsman, did you see him move in the flat right there? Nobody in the flat. And you saw he makes the catch in the flat and then has the wide open green right there to be able to go to be able to get the first down. Now going with four wide receivers. Hilbert trying to bring the pressure. The pass is off in time and a great deflection there. 
falling incomplete. Looked like that was once again number five, Camargo Clark. He's come up big here on this defensive drive. Yeah, Clark turns around, great spot again. Gets his hand up, knocks it down, but reads it really well. Now the snap and the give. Trying to get this over towards the right hash. And able to get a good chunk of yardage there was number two, Jalen Babers. And I'll bring up now close to four on the play for a third down. And a timeout was called, and it's going to be on Hilbert. And that'll be their final timeout of the half with 1.21 to go here in the first half. Lion down on, excuse me, up on Hilbert, 13 to 6. We'll take a break here. This is West New York Athletics live on YouTube. As Thanksgiving nears, Wester wants to thank you, Western New York, for your support. In honor of this support, we want to help feed those who need it most. We're donating $100,000 in turkeys to local organizations in our area. And now, until November 12th, we are collecting food donations at all of our locations. And five people who donate will be selected at random to win an autographed Josh Allen football. Thank you to all of our customers for making this possible. Welcome back, everyone, to West New York Athletics Live here on YouTube. we got 121 remaining here in the first half. Do stick around a little bit as we'll have a halftime show here discussing about the first half action between this game between Hilbert and Lyon. 13-6 to the score. Lyon trying to find a way to extend their lead. Hilbert trying to make sure this stays a one-score lead. Third down and six. Funk rolling out to the right. Trying to find a receiver, and it will fall incomplete. A good attempt right there, but on there for the coverage was Xavion Nix, the sophomore from Niagara Falls, coming up big there to set up a fourth down. It looks like they're going to go for it. I don't see the kicker coming out here. And it looked like their kicker's got a leg, right? So he, it looked like he'd probably have an opportunity for it. But it looks like they're going to try to go for this. So a big right now opportunity for Hilbert to make a defensive stop. They're going to stick with four wide receivers. Here's the snap. Funk trying to find a man, and it's caught as he goes with the out route towards the sidelines and able to grab the first down that time. Reginald Brown there on the catch and the first. And got the clock to stop as well. It's only at now 1.09 to go in the first half. Sticking with that four wide receiver set. And someone got, did it make like contact? ran over. Did they make contact or did he move? That's why they're going to talk about this. Hilbert. I know guys like came rushed, in, right? And then I know the left that. guard fell down. Yes, that was the weird part. It didn't look like there was any contact. So we'll see what the official call is going to be right here. That was very close. And it's going to be offsides on Hilbert. So five yards tacked on there on the defense and pushing Lyon further closer to a chance to score. I'll tell you, with a minute left right now, Jake, I, I expect, because they've been effective by the pass, that they try to pass right here is where you're going to see them try to make opportunities so they get many, multiple opportunities to try to score. But it's going to happen again. And that was exactly, I believe that was the left guard again. Yeah. And, that but, time. But unfortunately, now you're going to be talking about a first down you just gave Lyon just strictly on being over aggressive. And they're talking about this one too. Yeah, but this one I thought there was contact. This one I yeah. I, I to be honest with you, the first one I had a little bit of a huh about. This one I thought was pretty pretty easy to be able to make that call. First down Lions. 
So two consecutive penalties there that time for Hilbert, setting up now a first down and 10. Still with 109 to go, and they still have two timeouts as well. The snap and the quick throw, that one's caught by Brown. Not able to get the first down that time, just short of picking it up. And they were able to stop the clock there to only killed off five seconds. Which is why we expected him to go to the air, right? Now you're going to have opportunities this close if you want to run the ball. There's a snap here and the run play. Trying to get it right up the gut. Lions players are signaling a touchdown. And Babers there was on the carry. They haven't signaled it yet. Looks like he was short. The clock stopped at 53 seconds. There's no timeout taken yet. It was just able to pick up the first down, though. Now they try to go for the QB sneak there. No signal yet. If it's a touchdown, now it is. That time is Lyon able to put points on the board before the first half. It looks like a penalty marker is down, too. This is, a, this is all the way away. I think this is going to be a sideline against the sideline of Hilbert. See where the flag is thrown? Like it's nowhere near mm -hmm. the play right there, and it's closer to the sideline. So when sportsmanlike conduct was against Hilbert, and the penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. So Romero Castillo now set up for the PAT to try to make this a two-score lead. As he gets set and ready, snap is down, kick is on the way, and the point after try is good with 46 seconds to go here in the first half. Line up on Hilbert, 20 to six. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. This is West New York Athletics Live on YouTube. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Stay up to date on the latest scores across Western New York by visiting wnyathletics.com and use our interactive scoreboard for the latest across Section 6 and Monsignor Martin Association events. Welcome back, everyone, to West New York Athletics Live here on YouTube. As Romero Castillo is set to boot this one away. As this kick will go into the end zone for a touchback as that one's forced my conduct penalty for Hilbert was able to ease Romero Castillo to a kick into the end zone for that touchback. But 46 seconds to go, Hilbert with possession. Yeah, you can see obviously that 15-yard uh, penalty has an effect, but Hilbert does a great job letting it go by. Don't try to take it out, and you're able to at least get the ball right here at the 20-yard line, or 25-yard line, sorry. Going with three wide receivers this time, the snap, and it's going to be a carry over to Reed, trying to use that outside blocking, getting it past the... 30-yard line and down right at the 31 as the clock will tick away with 30 seconds and counting. And some of the guys on Hilbert saying, let's go, let's go, let's try to get something going here with 25 and counting. Now with 20 seconds and clock is ticking and ticking away, now at 15. Going to go with three wide receivers. Now with 10 seconds left to carry over to Gilly. And this time, 
just passing the line of scrimmage, possibly about a yard or so. And now the clock will hit zero and bring it in to the first half. Lion up on Hilbert, 20 to six. All right, thank everyone so far for tuning into this broadcast live on West New York Athletics on the YouTube page. My name is Jacob Fayok. Alongside me is Tom Prince. We'll take a break and we'll re we will be right back for our halftime show here on West New York Athletics. As Thanksgiving nears, Wester wants to thank you, Western New York, for your support. In honor of this support, we want to help feed those who need it most. We're donating $100,000 in turkeys to local organizations in our area. And now, until November 12th, we are collecting food donations at all of our locations. And five people who donate will be selected at random to win an autographed Josh Allen football. Thank you to all of our customers for making this possible. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Stay up to date on the latest scores across Western New York by visiting WNYAthletics.com and use our interactive scoreboard for the latest across Section 6 and Monsignor Martin Association events. Western New York High School football is on WBFO, your NPR station. Hear play-by-play -play coverage every Friday night at 7. Listen live at 88.7 FM, WBFO.org, or the WBFO app. A complete schedule of the eight-game season is available on WBFO.org. Friday Night Lights is made possible by our members and by Great Erie Federal Credit Union and Miracle Method. Do you insure a lot of businesses? Yes, we do. How about restaurants? We got a bunch. Do you cover property damage? Yes, we do. How about my equipment? Covered. How about sewer backup? We got it. What if my cook gets hurt? They're covered. Foodborne illnesses? Covered. What if my party tank goes down? Covered under property damage. And you say this is all under one policy? One policy. When do I pay? Once a month. Just one time? Just one. Is there anything you don't cover? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 31. Tables. <sighs> we don't do tables. Gotta love Buffalo. For more information, visit www.paulwolfagency.com. You're watching another live stream production by 300 Level Media, LLC. 300 Level Media can highlight your business by incorporating commercials, live reads, and corporate logos throughout our WNY Athletics events. WNY Athletics is the premier high school sports streaming service in New York State. Covering regular season contests through the state championships and everything in between with over a million views annually. You can find more information about advertising on any of our platforms at WNYAthletics.com slash become a sponsor. Hi, my name is Lisa Roosevelt, owner of the Rose Barn Grill, located at 199 Scott Street, downtown Buffalo in the heart of the city.
It's a great place, friendly atmosphere, have great drinks, have great food, and we have awesome customers. If you come to the Rose, I guarantee you coming back. Welcome back, everyone, to Western New York Athletics Live on our YouTube page. My name is Jacob Flack. Alongside with me is Tom Prince, live here at St. Francis High School with college football action. Hilbert currently down on line 20 to 6, as you see right there on your screen. But have a little bit of the stats here so far. The big part has been the running game for Hilbert, as it's made some a lot of positive moments here throughout this first half. And even the big part was Darian Reed, who's made a big impact so far. Really what we can say, Jake, it's been the passing of line versus the running of Hilbert. Mm -hmm. um, in the first half right here, Christopher Funk has, uh, run, has passed for 103 yards with a touchdown. That's the difference. Hilbert has only passed for 25 yards. That really you can see is, is the big difference in favor of Lyon right there. Hilbert, though, has run the ball to me much more effectively. You can see Darian Reed has led the way with 73 yards rushing. Now, Jalen Barbers has led the way for Lyon with 28 yards rushing. So you can see right now rush in favor of Hilbert, which is why you really saw controlling the clock right there has really been on the side of, of Hilbert. And we can look. Um, first downs, Lyon 10, Hilbert 7. Possession time. This is what I wanted you to show. 1209 Lion, 1751 Hilbert. You would have thought with some of these stats that you would go, huh, Hil Hil Hilbert may be winning this game, especially with some of the positives that are in, in, in their favor. But really, the big difference in the game, fumbles lost. Lion 0, Hilbert 3. That is... Right there is the true difference of the game. And think about it. One of those turnovers happened on the one-yard line that we even, when we looked at, now granted, folks, we've got replay. We've got things we can look up here. But we really thought that should have been an incomplete pass. But unfortunately, it wasn't called an incomplete pass on the field. It was called a fumble. And then Lyon got a chance to take over at the one-yard line and absolutely put it in for a score. Take away that, we're talking about a one-score game right now. But really, the, the biggest differences in this game have really been turnovers that have gone against Hilbert. Now, can't see it on the screen right now, but both the kickers from each side are still practicing and warming up as they're about to get ready a little bit here in the second half. But adjustments here so far from both sides, Tom. I don't know if I'm Hilbert, if I'm going to make a lot of adjustments, I want to stick with that run. Mm -hmm. That run has been effective. We've got to make sure 
We don't have the penalties that put us in long yardage that we keep running the ball and try to uh, try to control the clock is absolutely what we're going to do here to see if we can keep the ball out of Lions' hands for the second half. And I'm going to tell you, on defense, you have to, have to right now stop some of those passes, especially in the flat or in the outs. There really have been successful opportunities for Lions be able to put points up on the board, to be able to get first downs, to be able to extend long third downs, all that happened in their favor. And those are things that have to happen right now for Hilbert to make stops. Defensively, though, think about some of the stops that happened. I thought K. Michael Clark was big. Mm -hmm. He had some big stops, and he was a part of it. Now he's got to get his other D-backs to be able to help him out right now to make some of those stops. But I thought he made some key stops to stop some plays for them in the first half. And then also on the defensive front, Scotty Winchell leads the way with six tackles, and we called his name a bunch of times right there, number 32, as you saw him really do some big things. And then also, don't forget about Thomas Poindexter. We saw him. He had five tackles there, and we really saw him <laughs> be very, very aggressive out there and be able to make it. Remember that one big sack that really extended a, the, the play and made sure that they got the ball back because of how aggressive he was. 9.02 left to go here for the first half intermission. We'll go ahead and take a break and be right back. But when we do come back, we'll have the start of second half action between Lyon and Hilbert. As Thanksgiving nears, Wester wants to thank you, Western New York, for your support. In honor of this support, we want to help feed those who need it most. We're donating $100,000 in turkeys to local organizations in our area. And now, until November 12th, we are collecting food donations at all of our locations. And five people who donate will be selected at random to win an autographed Josh Allen football. Thank you to all of our customers for making this possible. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Stay up to date on the latest scores across Western New York by visiting WNYAthletics.com and use our interactive scoreboard for the latest across Section 6 and Monsignor Martin Association events. Western New York High School football is on WBFO, your NPR station. Hear play-by-play -play coverage every Friday night at 7. Listen live at 88.7 FM, WBFO.org, or the WBFO app. A complete schedule of the eight-game season is available on WBFO.org. Friday Night Lights is made possible by our members and by Great Erie Federal Credit Union and Miracle Method. Do you insure a lot of businesses? Yes, we do. How about restaurants? We got a bunch. Do you cover property damage? Yes, we do. How about my equipment? Covered. How about sewer backup? We got it. What if my cook gets hurt? They're covered. Foodborne illnesses? Covered. What if my party tank goes down? Covered under property damage. And you see this is all under one policy? One policy. When do I pay? Once a month. Just one time? Just one. Is there anything you don't cover? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 31. Tables. <sighs> we don't do tables. Gotta love Buffalo. 
For more information, visit www.paulwolfagency.com. You're watching another live stream production by 300 Level Media, LLC. 300 Level Media can highlight your business by incorporating commercials, live reads, and corporate logos throughout our WNY Athletics events. WNY Athletics is the premier high school sports streaming service in New York State. Covering regular season contests through the state championships and everything in between with over a million views annually. You can find more information about advertising on any of our platforms at WNYAthletics.com slash become a sponsor. Hi, my name is Lisa Roosevelt, owner of the Rose Barn Grill, located at 199 Scott Street, downtown Buffalo in the heart of the city. Great place, friendly atmosphere, have great drinks, have great food, and we have awesome customers. If you come to the Rose, I guarantee you, you're coming back. Welcome back, everyone, to Western New York Athletics live here on YouTube. 20 to 6 is our score in favor line as we're just about to get started here. Wick, second half action. What we saw from the first half, if you guys are just tuning in, the run play from Hilbert on the offensive side versus Lions passing. And time of possession was there for Hilbert, but just three costly turnovers there is what has kept them down two scores as they're looking to try rebound themselves and get 
a comeback here going. They're going to be starting off the ball here in the second half. One thing we didn't talk about, too, was was uh, penalties. And if you look here, two penalties on line for 10 yards, eight penalties on Hilbert for 65. That's got to get cleaned up also. So a couple things at least Hilbert can look at. We clean up, we can absolutely make it in the second half. And this could be right now the key. If you could come out and put points up on the board on this first possession, make it a one possession game, anything can happen then in the second half. Number 81, Bryce Robinson, and number one, Quantrell Moss as the return team for the Hawks. This kickoff is underway, and around the 18-yard line, Moss will just take this one immediately, will be out of bounds as soon as he caught it, and that is where Hilbert will be starting off their first possession of the second half. So this is like, like we talked about, a big opportunity for Hilbert to start this one off right. Do what's worked for you. The run has worked all season for you. You've had multiple 100-yard runners inside those first games that you've had so far. Make sure you do that. Make sure you get by the run. Let the line do what they're doing or get to the outside like you really had success. Remember, remember how many times we said, keep it going, coach, until you actually get it stopped. Starting out out of the shotgun, first down and 10 and trying to get it right up the gut, moving it around to the 20, looks like 22 yard line, picking up about four. As Gilly there was the ball carry on that first down run. And that's one of the first times we've really seen that. We haven't seen much up the gut by them. We've seen it more break out to the outside. So maybe this is going to be a little bit of a wrinkle that we're going to see thrown into the second half. Hey, especially if you can keep getting five yards. That's a first down every time then. So they did put it at the 23, so it's actually a five-yard pickup. There's now a toss play towards the outside and immediately met up behind the line of scrimmage there. As number 20 was Amarion McMiller there trying to go for technically that was considered a pass play, but fortunately losing yards. Yeah, also number 44, William Litton, was on the stop right there for a lion. That was a loss about a yard, and quickly third down already set up for Hilbert. Needs six yards to go. Workman all by himself with five wide receivers. Here's the pass. Here's the pressure, and he is sacked. And right there was, once again, Number 49, that was Nate Sarver there, able to come up and bring him down. Sarver's done a very good job on the line defense. And, and that's really what we've seen in the first half, right? Effective when the run, when they've gone to the pass, is where they've struggled a little bit right there. So remember we saw the wrinkles? Like this is the actual punt versus what we saw the quarterback doing the punting right here. Egan getting set back there to boot this one. Line drive here, rolling around towards the 40, back to the midfield marker and in to line territory at the 45 as the Scots will start off their first drive in the second half. So for Hilbert, they're a quick three and out. Now the defense got to come up strong here to make sure they don't put any more points on the board. By Kamichael Clark to the 20, to the 10. And he's down at around the three-yard line in one play. Hilbert's defense steps up and puts the offense in goal line territory. Jake, I believe he's been my defensive player of the game. I believe we talked about him the most of anyone. A phenomenal read there by the defensive back. Clark coming up strong. But K. Michael Clark, boy, he has just been fantastic today. We talked about him as a defensive back, and there he is. He jumps the route, reads it nicely again, which we saw Roman Gasella do in the first half also. Here's Darian Reed trying to push his way towards the end zone, and he just gets back. 
actually Noah ended up losing a yard or so, did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, there's no doubt about Michael Clark being that very good defensive back. He came into this game with two interceptions, now getting lucky number three there on the year. Yeah, no, great opportunity. Jake, I'm looking for something right up the gut right here, right? You had success. Remember the five yards you saw earlier? I'm looking to see right now if you can get a push and go right up the gut. Here's a snap, and uh, Reed once more trying to get to the outside, and he will coast into the end zone for a Hawks touchdown. And let's see if we get a chance uh, to look at this play again. Watch this. Watch the line. Watch the push go to the outside. See the entire push? See the entire line? which opened up right down that outside. For them to break through, they hit a cross all the way over. That's a great job by the line to get the push so he can get in untouched. So Reed getting a big touchdown there. Cut this lead technically down to one score, an eight-point lead, but right now they're going to set up for the point after try. Egan taking a couple steps to his left, get himself prepped and lined up. And a penalty marker is down. PAT was no good. And they called that early. That tells me it's usually going to be some sort of false start or somebody lined up in the neutral zone. And that's going to be on the defense which means somebody probably lined up in the neutral zone, which is why they stopped it before the actual play went off. So that does push them more to half distance. They're going to stick with the PAT. Yeah, you wonder. You, 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 that I agree with you. You start to wonder, is do you, should you have thought of possibly going for a two-point uh, conversion right there being so close? Especially the way the running game has been so far today. Here's the snap. The kick's down. It's on the way. And it is good. So with 12.06 to go in the third quarter, 20 to 13, the Lion lead has cut down to a one score game. Remember, Jake, it doesn't matter how it goes through because once it goes through, it just goes a point. Of, <laughs> the point attempt is good. That's all you look at afterwards. So talk a little bit about this Hilbert football team. Obviously, this is their second full season in as a football program, but it's the first year for head coach Ted Edgar. He was hired back in December. He actually grew up around the Western New York area, specifically in Hornell, and it was an opportunity for this job here to be back in the Western New York community and build a new program that Hilbert is having. Edgar previously coached three seasons at Hawking College out of Nelsonville, Ohio, not too far from the city of Columbus. And I'll tell you, you know he wants to get his first win under his belt. And and you're in the game right now to do it, right? This is probably the closest to Hilbert has been this late in a game right here. Your defense just came up big. Now you're going to ask him, can we do it one more time? Get us the ball back and see if we can tie this game right up. Getting set up now. The long kick. Bouncing it around the 20. And now getting bobbled, just put it up and he ended up fumbling it. But luckily, Lions able to recover. Reginald Brown there had it for a second and immediately lightning right to him. Ended up bobbling it. But luckily, Scots were able to recover it, but they're still well in their own territory. Actually, at the 14 yard line. Yeah, I think it was Xavier Long who actually recovered it for him. But boy, that was a big play right there. That could have changed the entire momentum of this game right there if that got turned over and Hilbert had a short field again. Gonna stick with four wide receivers. Funk couldn't find anything to his right, rolling around to his left. And the pass here is tipped and it falls incomplete through the hands of his intended receiver that time. And now bring up second down. As you see, what I thought was done very well the coverage of the receivers was, they were covered very well. That's the reason why he couldn't get that ball out and he had to roll out to try to buy some time. Still no openings, but then when you saw right there, when he was looking either whether he was gonna run it or throw it, that's when we saw uh, Cameron Brown actually come up and make that play. Second down and 10, the carry now and immediately met up 
into the backfield. Multiple players there for Hilbert, getting it to around the line of scrimmage. They do credit them with a yard or so, but right now on this third down and nine, momentum is shifted a little bit towards Hilbert's side. And, and I don't know, Jake, if you see the sideline. The sideline's into this, right? You're hearing him yell and scream every play right now. You can see there's a little momentum right now coming on that sideline for Hilbert. Four wide receiver set, third down and nine. Funk feeling the pressure right away. Has to roll out to his left, and he's gonna go ahead and keep this one, and will just run towards Hilbert's sidelines. He did not pick up the first down. Bro was went out of bounds at, excuse me, at the 21-yard line, and now the punting unit comes out. A big three and out there for Hilbert's defense. That's uh, Honestly, that's a big three and out. And now you've got an opportunity to get yourself some decent field position right here at the same time, right? You're not going to be deep in your territory right here, so this could be an opportunity right here where you could come down and absolutely try to tie this game up. Quantrell Moss is the return man. He's in his own territory. Here's the boot. High arcing punt. And fair catch is made at the Hilbert 46 yard line. There is a penalty marker down. This is right at around the Lion 34 yard line. Yeah, I hate to say it, but that's when it usually goes against the receiving team right here. So do you expect to see another 10 yards? And you're definitely going to as those 10 yards will tack on to the fair catch that Moss made. So instead of the 46, they'll go back to their own 36. With 10.36 to go here in the third quarter. Which is a shame because, boy, you had fantastic starting position. This isn't bad, but, boy, to be at your 45-yard line, though, would have been a beautiful starting position for Hilbert. Workman getting that snap there and moving it over to Gilly. Hit hard. And tackled right around the 39-yard line, picking up about three yards. We haven't seen that outside run really be big right now so far in the second half. You wonder if, they, if Lions made some adjustments right now to make sure they got out there to be able to get that play. Well, with four wide receivers feeling the pressure right away, shakes off one defender, and trying to get back to it was Moss off the comeback route. It falls incomplete. Had a chance there to pick up the first down. Workman did a good job shaking off one defender, but immediately met up with another one and had to throw the ball away right away. Yeah, he had to get rid of that, and I agree with you, Jake. That could have easily been a sack, and he got himself out of that. And to be able to even get that ball off without being touched to me was still a great play by Workman. So quickly, Hilbert's facing a third down. They need seven yards to go to move the chains. They go three wide receivers with Reed as the tailback, and he's going to give it to him, trying to cut to the outside, moving it up towards the gut, trying to get to the first down. He is, shakes off one oh. defender, and That's now a penalty marker's foul. down. That's they had the first foul. down, too. Well, they still can get the first down because a personal foul will happen after the play. So they should still get that first down if, if, if he got it, if they mark it as a first down. And then what will happen, it'll be a personal foul penalty against Hilbert. That was number 21 for Lyon that got pushed down. That was Gerald Clear. So it's sportsmanlike conduct penalty on Hilbert. They did pick up the first down, but essentially, Tom, they're basically going to have to redo first down again in another five yards. Yeah, no, 15. Oh, I see what you're saying, because they got the first down, so it'll be five yards right. from there. Okay, so I see what you're saying. I, I apologize, Jake. So they got the first down, and then it'll be 15 yards from there, which is a shame because we saw what happened on the sideline, and when somebody came to the sideline, he absolutely came up, and that's where the contact happened on the sideline. So first down and 10. Unfortunately, though, still... Well, into their own territory. So 
right now they're showing three wide receivers. Two on the left, one on to the right. This looks like Gillies there in the backfield. He is. They're going to go for the draw play. Try to move it over towards that left side. Fell down a little bit past the 35, but to the 36. Looked like he got caught right at the ankle right there. There was an opportunity to break that one out. You saw they brought in, um, and it was a, they had like a wing back out there is what they did for that extra blocker, kind of like what a tight end would almost act out for some teams. Right. And he was out there for that extra blocker to really go to that outside. And there's a, another wrinkle we hadn't seen much in the first half. 9.06 and counting to go here in the third. Second down, and the carry immediately going to Reed. Met up my, right away, excuse me, by number 44. That was William Litton. So I'll bring up a third down. They need three to pick up the first. So right to that 41 of their own territory still. They got to pick up the first. This time they spread out a little bit. Three wide receivers. This time they go with the two tailback set with Gilly and Reed. And Gilly will be the ball carrier. Reed, that extra blocker, as he's trying to pick up the first down, and he does pass the 41 officially at the 42. So with that on sports and like conduct penalty, they're still able to move the chains and move that first down marker. And that's a big job right there. And you saw it was his push at the very end that got that first down. That's something you give all to him because he really did fight for those last couple yards. The snap and the give. Reed couldn't find a hole, and Litton met up with a couple other guys, was brought down right at the original line of scrimmage. No, excuse me, they do credit him a yard or so on that carry. Second down and nine. Sticking with the four wide receiver set this time. Here's now the snap. Here's the throw, and that is incomplete. Trying to give it to the intended man there, number 82, Charles Young. And now bring up quickly third down with nine to go. And this may be the one time we've really not seen Hilbert be effective right there is when you know it's a pass play that's come here. So this is a big opportunity for them to get a first down. The man you're going to look for that's done it so far for them in the passing game has been Bryce Robertson. I'm looking for 81 right there to be able to make some sort of a catch right there for an opportunity for a first down because he's been the one guy in the passing game they've gone to and been effective. So stick with that three wide receiver, two tailback set with one man in motion. Feeling the pressure, Workman. Ends up fumbling it. And it looked like Lyon may have recovered it, and they did. That's now four fumbles now by Hilbert, and the quarterback for Hilbert is down. That's Workman who's currently down. Looked like he, he just needed to make the decision, you know, quicker. He, he had the option to go out uh, for the opportunity right there, and he obviously didn't take it. And that's when you saw the penetration absolutely get in there quickly. So we do have an injury timeout with the clock stop at 7:10. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. This is Western New York Athletics on YouTube. As Thanksgiving nears, Wester wants to thank you, Western New York, for your support. In honor of this support, we want to help feed those who need it most. We're donating $100,000 in turkeys to local organizations in our area. And now, until November 12th, we are collecting food donations at all of our locations. And five people who donate will be selected at random to win an autographed Josh Allen football. Thank you to all of our customers for making this possible. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. 
means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Stay up to date on the latest scores across Western New York by visiting WNYAthletics.com and use our interactive scoreboard for the latest across Section 6 and Monsignor Martin Association events. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Welcome back, everyone, to Western New York Athletics. Right now, the quarterback for Hilbert, uh, number 17, Noah Workman, was dealing with a lot of pain along his left lower side, had to be attended to by one of the coaches and the training staff, not putting any weight on his left leg. And out of turnover. Now Lyon will have to resume action here. They're trying to run it up towards the right side. Wrapped up and rolled around by not one, not two, not three. Four Hilbert defenders there that time. And ended up getting no yards on that play. I actually thought though the first one in. You saw him came in from the outside. was number 99 Clifford Ziegler. Uh, here from the Buffalo area. He's actually at Cardinal O'Hara School is where he went to. But I thought he did a great job of coming in from the backside right there. So second down and 10 with the clock ticking away at 6.43. Trying to go for another run, this time moving it towards the left side of the O-line. But only able to get about two, maybe three yards or so on that one. Looks like they'll credit them two at around the 30-yard line. So second down, eight yards to go. Excuse me, third and eight. Trying to go with three wide receivers this time. No, excuse me, four this time. This is where they've been effective. That long third down, they've seemed to be able to find somebody in the out or in the flat. Here's the pressure right away, but able to shake it off. But nope, there he goes. Brought down by number 99, Clifford Ziegler, the man from Cardinal O'Hara. Able to bring up and get the sack. And give right there a look at two. It was also though Scotty Winchell that gets in there. See him? He gets in there, makes that play right there to be able to make him go to the outside so they could get that sack. Fourth down, here's the pooch punt on the way. Fair catch is made. There is contact between the returner and the kicking team, but no penalty markers. Yeah, they were and they were looking for it too. They wanted to know why there wasn't there because he can't touch him at all. That's what I thought the rule was as well, yeah. Tom. I figured no matter what happens, any sort of contact, you cannot do that. Yeah, and so they they obviously thought it was you know very slight contact and didn't need, feel the need to call a, a flag right there, but they were obviously looking for one. So this ball was spotted. I believe it's at the nine yard line. It is inside the 10. Now when I'll bring up now the backup quarterback in the sophomore Brody Hopkins who played his high school football career at Pioneer. Now all the now penalty markers yeah, get thrown. You saw that late right there. So face mask was called, had one earlier in the game 
believe it was against Hilbert. And now this one here in the second half, Lyon gonna have to eat that penalty up. An automatic first down for Hilbert. We said, remember the first down, that was the di a big difference between Hilbert and Lyon in the first half. All those penalties were going against Hilbert. That's one that goes their way, and now you've got an opportunity where you've got to capitalize on it. So this ball will go to the 20, in between the 23, 24 yard line. New set of downs here for the Hawks as Reed and Litton there. Nope, excuse me, that wasn't Litton there that time. Number 40 there for Lyon, able to get Reed low to bring up the tackle. That was Austin Swaim, a freshman, able to stop Reed. And they ended up losing a couple yards on that play. And then this is that, you know what I mean? Like, do you go for a run here? Is this that passing down? This is where you've seen Hilbert struggle a little bit. If they can make it through with some big plays, this is their opportunity that could open up the run game if they can get some of these passes through. Gonna have to go four wide receiver set. This time they'll stick with the draw play. Reed cutting back up the gut past the 30 and close to the 35. They'll put him at around the 33. He's just around the first down marker and they're gonna give it to him. Beautiful job there, the blocking up the middle and Reed cutting back, juking, think he's going right and then goes up the middle to get the first. Yep, you saw the push that goes one way. And I'll tell you, the difference is, I think they're more effective going up the gut in the second half than they were the outside. It was the flip in the first half, but that's where they gotta go for the second half. Maybe that's something they'll try to attack more. Well, this time they try to go up the gut and immediately they're just met up by two line defenders and ended up losing a yard on the play. Clock keeps ticking away, 350 and counting and they go in the third. Still a one score lead here. Lyon has held the lead for all of this game, but Hilbert having a chance to not only try and tie it, but with a chance to also get their first lead of this game. Sticking with four wide receivers, have two defenders crouching up. There goes the blitz and there goes the screen for Reed. Cutting up to the outside along the line, sidelines. Picking up the first down and more past the 45 and down at the 48 yard line. But we do have a penalty marker that's in the backfield. That was right where he caught the screen pass too. So you'd think there was some sort of block in the back or hold. And it is a hold on the offense. You know, but that is, a, to me, a great call there, right? Because what you do is we've seen the defensive line get some penetration and really do a good job of getting into that backfield at times, especially when they pass the ball, right? So this was an opportunity to take advantage of that aggression right there, throw it outside for a screen, and it almost was a big play right there for Hilbert. So that pushes him back, second down and 21. They're gonna have to go four wide here, trips to the left, one to the right. Here's the snap, got protection. The pass here had his man open with Moss, but it was too high and couldn't corral it in, falling incomplete. And, and, and if he hits him right there, that's an opportunity to at least make this like a third and 10 type thing, a very manageable uh, opportunity for Hilbert to try to get that first town. Now you're talking about, you know, third and 20 makes this very, or third and 21 really makes this a harder opportunity because there aren't many 20 yard pass plays that you can call out there. As they go ahead and break huddle, this time Hopkins all alone with five wide receivers and a timeout called by Hilbert. That will be two left here in the game. 3.01 to go here in the third. Line up on Hilbert, 20 to 13. We'll take a break. This is West New York Athletics here on YouTube. As Thanksgiving nears, Wester wants to thank you, Western New York, for your support. In honor of this support, we want to help feed those who need it most. We're donating $100,000 in turkeys to local organizations in our area. 
And now, until November 12th, we are collecting food donations at all of our locations. And five people who donate will be selected at random to win an autographed Josh Allen football. Thank you to all of our customers for making this possible. Welcome back, everyone, to Western New York Athletics here on YouTube. My name is Jacob Fike. Alongside me is Tom Prince as we have college football action here in Western New York. Hilbert against Lyon. They're down by seven to Lyon, and they got a long, long way to go to try and pick up the first down. Trying to go with four wide receivers, tailback here, and it's just going to be a draw play. Up the left side, picking up about two yards. And now the punting unit will come out. And now what you're doing is going to your defense again, right? Asking them, we got to keep making the stops. Because the defense has really been the big one today, right? Really has been the ones that have come up big today. And we've talked about it. Led by, you know, a few guys here in the defensive side of the ball. I really believe K. Michael Clark has been one. And no doubt Scotty Winchell's been another. Thomas Poindexter. And then we've also talked about the big man, number 99. Well, here's now a play here. Eden's just trying to kick this away. And that, folks, is going to be a safety as we also got a guy in Hilbert who's limping. That's looks like that's Scotty Winchell. Now we have another line, another injury line player down into the end zone. So let's see what happened here on the this hike play. Did that go off one of the players? It looked like it deflected it off maybe one of the players, in, and yeah. then Egan just had to unfortunately just try to tap that out of the end zone. And, and now you're talking about you just put more points up on the board where you've now made this a two-score game right here is what's happened. And they're going to get the ball back. Yep. Well, I mean, obviously they were getting it anyway, right. right? So that wasn't the big deal. But the big deal was you just put two points up on the board that now makes this a two-score game. And, again, it goes back to something you and I talked about earlier, and that's winning special teams, right? You've got to win special teams to win games, and here's another win right now for Lions. So a 2-13 to go here in the third. This line was going to get that ball back, but unfortunately the ball gets bobbled out of the end zone for a safety. So line will get that and tacking on two points to make this now a nine-point lead for them. Now here comes the boot away. It's a long line drive. Now Brown just trying to take it over towards the outside, getting nothing but space here this time. Still staying up on his feet as he's past the 35 and down at around the 33 yard line. Able to get that blocking up. Nothing but space there. Is only able to get around to the, looks like they'll put him at the 34 yard line. So with Lyon there, having a chance to put themselves in a good field position now and try to get themselves in a good relaxed spot to put more points on the board. You're putting a lot on your defense right here, but you've got to not get them in, the, it, it let them in the end zone. Rolling out to the right, Funk trying to find a man, and this one is caught. Did he get in? He did. A touchdown there on one play. It's Funk over to number 84, Carson Douglas, and in one play, now puts them up 28 to 13. And we see the play there. Douglas is able to separate himself, getting wide open there, and got one foot in. 
So this is that member that that one they didn't make. This was the same di type of uh, lineup that they brought out here. Same configuration. Let's see what they do. Romero Castillo will attack the extra point for the Fighting Scots. Here comes now the PAT. The snap is down. The kick is on the way. And it's good with 153 to go in this contest. 29 to 13 lying up on Hilbert. Boy, I'll tell you, just one play. Look at what one play can do for a momentum. We were talking about earlier in this quarter how much the sideline of Hilbert got into it, how much you saw momentum there shifting, and one play just has completely shifted the momentum back over to Lyon right here. So we really, if you're Hilbert right now, you've got to come out with an answer here. You want to somehow make this a one-score game going at least back into uh, the fourth quarter right here. Because you're talking about it is still a two-score game. You're talking about 16 points, but there are two-point conversions that you're going to have to do here. So Romero Castillo will get set and ready for the kickoff as the return team for Hilbert is set and ready with Bryce Robinson and Quantrell Moss. Romero Castillo to kick it off for the Fighting Scots. Robinson and Moss back deep for the Hawks. As Moss will take it inside the 10. And we'll stick towards that left side, trying to find a hole. And there he does, past the 30, and trying to get around the 35. Penalty marker comes flying in. Boy, that was late, too. Did you see how late that was? You almost wonder, is this another personal foul penalty right here? Because so we'll that flag came in late. It really did. So was it something, some sort of hit on the sideline for when he went outside? We'll see what it is. So we got a block in the back on the receiving team. Well, I'll tell you, that came in really late for a block in the back right there. And especially you saw it was from the deep man, uh, you know, the deep ref out here. But um, unfortunately, another penalty that, that puts the starting position of Hilbert farther in their territory. Trying to go with four wide receivers this time. Quick pass here that's caught and immediately met up behind the line of scrimmage. That time, number 21 right there for Lyon College. Able to come up and make the tackle, Gerald Clear. Boy, too bad they didn't go to the other side of the field on the run that one. You actually had Hilbert had double pancake blocks on the other side of the field where they really had an opportunity to do something on the opposite side. Lost the two in that play to set up now a second down and 12. Four wide receivers pass here is caught and met up immediately there by a line defender. Caught, though, by number 20, Imarian McMiller. It would pick up about close to five yards to set up a third down and about seven to go. Miller went up nicely and got that ball. You saw he had to go up and get it. Did a great job of making a catch right there. Four wide receivers set with Gilly in as the running back. Here's the snap. Hopkins can't go anywhere that time. He's sacked. Hopkins is brought down in the backfield for a sack. Two players in coming in that time. Litton was one of them, along with number 93 of that Lion defense, Renee Dominique there, and that quickly fourth down coming up. So at five seconds left comes the punt. Clock hits zero as quickly as this third quarter will come to an end. The ball will roll around to the Lion third, excuse me, 44-yard line as we hit three quarters of play here as Hilbert is down on line 29-13. to 13. We will take a quick break and be right back for the fourth quarter. This is West New York Athletics on YouTube. 
As Thanksgiving nears, WestHer wants to thank you, Western New York, for your support. In honor of this support, we want to help feed those who need it most. We're donating $100,000 in turkeys to local organizations in our area. And now, until November 12th, we are collecting food donations at all of our locations. And five people who donate will be selected at random to win an autographed Josh Allen football. Thank you to all of our customers for making this possible. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster, with four convenient locations open seven days a week. Welcome back, everyone, to West New York Athletics. Starting here in the fourth quarter, and it's a great blitz there that time. 57 right there. Coming up with a big play, Amari Jenkins, the sophomore defensive lineman who played his career at Amherst High School and a little bit over at Erie Community College. He did a great job. You saw him penetrate in, and he actually stopped him, hold him, and then came back for a bigger wrap to take him down. A great job there by Jenkins. Losing one yard out of play for a second down and 11. Blitz coming, but that was off a screen play. Able to shake off one defender and tackle immediately. Mob Mobley there on the carry. 26 there. Zayer Stone on the tackle. Now bring up a third down. And a great call, especially after you saw a nice penetration by the defensive line. That's a good call to be able to try to get some of the aggression, right? Take advantage of that aggression that you see happening out there. So a good job right there by Hilbert to make sure that wasn't even a bigger play. Third down and six. Funk feeling the pressure, has to throw it away, and it was almost intercepted. That might have been number 23, Xavion Nix, the sophomore, almost had an interception. And if he came up that was up cleanly, he probably had a chance to so I'm gonna pick tell you, six. They're talking right now whether this is an intentional grounding play is what they, I think they were talking about. And I think that's why you saw the pointing that there was a player right there because that was brought up because he was still in the pocket right there. So that was the reason why they were having a conversation about it. So good three and out there for Hilbert. Now setting up for a punt with Quantrell Moss as the return man. Here's the snap. Penalty marker is down. As he gets around the 20 to 15, 10, and Moss is just going to let this walk out of bounds to around the seven yard line. But we do have a penalty marker down, and seeing a little bit from the coaching staff from Hilbert, they're signaling this is on Lion. So you would think they're going to make them re kick that, is what they're going to do. The official word is to the false start on the punt team, and they will redo the down. Like I, I don't think giving you five yards down here was enough. That is an absolutely right call by the coaching staff where you can see they want them to re-kick it to try to get a better return and better field position for your team right now. So Romero Castillo lined up to try to punt once more. Here's a snap and Romero Castillo bobbled it. And able to jump on it right away. Looked like will be officially fumble, will be recovered by Hilbert and the Hawks will start off at the 20 yard line. Jake, we said it earlier, one play can change momentum. Is this the play that gives the momentum back to Hilbert? That is what we're going to find out right here. But we've seen them take advantage of this earlier. Remember on a short field, can they do it again right here? Tevayon Roach coming up there to recover the fumble. And now 20 yards away to try to put six more on the board. Going with three wide receivers this time. 
Could be a draw play as Gilly trying to find a way to get some room. And he may have just got a yard or so. If not, he was right back at the line. Trying to look for a man. Has one. Had his man beat. But if it's overthrown and incomplete, the intended receiver was number 81, Bryce Robinson. And quickly, Hilbert already now third down and 10. Unfortunately, we've got some hurt linemen right now for Hilbert. We've got one that's on the tent and one that just ran off the field. So that's two big offensive linemen right now that are down for Hilbert. <clears throat> so 12.30 now to go in this one. Trying to find a man, and it's intercepted. It's picked off. Try to give it to Quantrell Moss, but it's overthrown and intercepted. Didn't see who the initial guy was there. It looked like it might have been number 35 initially. Uh, excuse me, 45 right there. That's Colby Barton, the freshman defensive back. And the turnovers along with the penalties of just with this Hilbert offense to try to muster some points. Up close to three yards. So be second down and seven. Now Chris Douglas just Changing up the play a little bit. Babers now on the right side of his quarterback, Funk. Faking one, now trying to go downfield. And he just had a chance to corral that one in, but it is incomplete. Number 89 right there. That was Jaron Price. I'll tell you, if he doesn't overthrow him, which he just does here, and hits him in stride, he takes that in probably for a touchdown right there. So that is a big opportunity that Hilbert has to capitalize on. So now third down and seven, four wide receivers set. The snap and the penalty marker down. Right on the play. False start on the offense. Five -yard penalty. So false start on the offense, pushing them back. And Tom, you know, it's only, you know, 16 points, but, you know, the way that this game has been gone, obviously, a, you know, a penalty here or a turnover there, you know, where they put Hilbert, you know, you've had a chance right there to try and cut this lead down. And now you have another one here on the third and 12 getting a big defensive stop. And still to be able to, if you stop them right here, we'll see. Funk trying to go for a pass and it is intercepted, picked off. Shaking off one defender, trying to get towards the end zone, and it's a pick six. Thomas Pondexter, the junior, cuts this lead down to a one-score game. Wow, like we talked about, momentum is a dangerous thing, and here comes the momentum. And I gotta be honest with you, today has been about defense for Hilbert, it really has. You're talking about really Two opportunities here that they've done to be able to put points up on the board, both by interceptions. What a play right there from Thomas Pondexer, acting like the receiver on that time to just snag it away from the intended receiver that time and able to get this team closer to a chance of trying to either tie this game up or take the lead. And right now, no PAT try here. No, no. They're going to go for two here. Hopkins quickly rolling out to the right, trying to find a man. He's going to try and scramble this one in. Did he get in? And he did. Brody Hopkins with a two-point conversion is good. And with 11.31 to go in this one, it's back to a one-score lead for Lyon. Mealy trying to find someone to his right. No one was there, so he just thought about taking it. And the scrambling ability from Hopkins, getting him into the end zone for the two points.
like you said, Tom, momentum have shifted over just a tad. And as this game is gone, now Hilbert with a good chance right here to try to get another big defensive stop. So here, but here you go. The defense has been the key, right? You're gonna put them right back out on the field with momentum, right? Because you know how excited they are to make the plays that they've made. You make a big stop here, there is more than enough time on this game for you to come down and try to tie this thing up. But remember, we said it was gonna need to be two point conversions twice. Remember we talked about that whole special teams thing? Mm -hmm. Think about what's happened in the last little bit special teams wise, right? Now Hilbert is winning the special team side of this on the last couple opportunities. They keep doing that and watch out, this could be a game that could turn around right now in their favor. Egan now with the boot on the way. His return close to the 22 yard line. Long trying to move it towards the left side, getting a burst of speed, getting the blocking he needs. Past the 45 and down around the 48 yard line. And you mentioned special teams, Tom, right up there, Lions receiving team there coming up big with the blocking. They really have done well all day giving their team a uh, great field position all day long. I mean, it's been every time there's been a kickoff they have absolutely given themselves an opportunity to be able to put points up on the board because of the starting position. But this is it, right? This is where Hilbert has, uh, has excelled. They got to now come up with a three and out right here. Here's the snap. Trying to run it right up the middle and into Hilbert territory. But hold on, folks. We have a penalty marker down into the line backfield. It looks like it's going to be a hold. And the holding there against the Scots. And push them back 10 yards. With the lead that you've had here for all of this game, now you're put into a spot to where you got to try and put more points on the board. But this penalty here doesn't help you. This time going four wide receivers this time. One tail back, one man in motion. Here's the snap, the fake, the throw, and it's caught to an open man. Can't shake off one defender. And number 35 is there to bring the catch and get the yardage back. That was for getting a good chunk of yards past the original line of scrimmage and picking up two extra more. I think it's second down and eight. 12 yard pick up there. And that's been where they've been successful with that throw in the flat right there. So they've got to make sure they defend that. Trying to go for a run that time and it's met up behind the line of scrimmage, losing about a yard or so and seeing Tavion Roach along with number 32, Scotty Winchell Set up now a third down and nine. Big down right now. You can see Hilbert itching to get that opportunity to get back on offense right here. And I'll tell you, remember I was telling you about a couple of those injuries to the line? I think we're seeing a couple that may come back in and it may be the right opportunity right now. I know one is up with a helmet. The other one is standing. We'll just see whether, oh, it looks like he may be out, though, the other one. Well, we just had a penalty marker called, but it's officially going to be a timeout. And that is now, seeing how many timeouts there are left here. Two remaining here in the game for Lion. 9.48 to go here, 29-21. Lion up on Hilbert. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be.
Welcome back everyone to West New York Athletics. Quickly off the third and nine, and Lyon able to pick up a much needed first down into Hilper territory at around the 38. So that is Angel McIntosh, which was one of those offensive linemen that came off. His hand is wrapped right now, so it's wrapped and they have ice on it. I don't think we're going to see him back into the game, and he was one of the big offensive linemen that has been big for this team. Angel is actually um, from Cheektowaga, Cheektowaga High School, one of the freshmen in here. A big tackle right there for Hilbert. No gain that one. That was number seven there by Thomas Pondexer, who had the pick six to help get this lead down to a one-score lead. So second down and 10. Here's now the snap. Trying to go for a deep shot downfield. And that pass is caught by number zero there, Xavier Long. But there's a penalty marker down towards the backfield. Oh, that is it could be a hold right here. Did see one of the old linemen that had his helmet off. And, and that means he's got to come out. That's normally a play he's got to come out on when he, when that helmet comes off. Well, they're all moving everyone towards deep in the Hilbert territory, and it's going to be a hands-to-the-face penalty on Hilbert. Had a hard time seeing that one there for a second, but it was on the... Left side of the O-line there. Excuse me, right side of the O-line. That's probably why he got to stay in the game because it was a, pe a penalty that was called against making that happen. So they have this inside at around the five, maybe four yard line. So this now being a four wide receiver set. This time, just going to go with the draw play. He was tripped up, though, and taken down. And immediately, number 57 for Hilbert, that was Amari Jenkins, is quickly down, holding his knee. So as we get an injury timeout here, we'll stop the clock at 8.21 to go in this one. We'll be right back. As Thanksgiving nears, WestHer wants to thank you, Western New York, for your support. In honor of this support, we want to help feed those who need it most. We're donating $100,000 in turkeys to local organizations in our area. And now, until November 12th, we are collecting food donations at all of our locations. And five people who donate will be selected at random to win an autographed Josh Allen football. Thank you to all of our customers for making this possible. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. As Thanksgiving nears, WestHer wants to thank you, Western New York, for your support. In honor of this support, we want to help feed those who need it most. We're donating $100,000 in turkeys to local organizations in our area. And now, until November 12th, we are collecting food donations at all of our locations. And five people who donate will be selected at random to win an autographed Josh Allen football. Thank you to all of our customers for making this possible. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. 
means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Stay up to date on the latest scores across Western New York by visiting WNYAthletics.com and use our interactive scoreboard for the latest across Section 6 and Monsignor Martin Association events. Welcome back, everyone, to West New York Athletics real quick. Uh, currently down right now, it's, uh, injured player for Hilbert, number 57, Amari Jenkins, who's uh, currently being attended to by the trainers and a couple of the uh, uh, staff here from the ambulance here as he's still being worked on, but still in this uh, injury timeout. 821 left to go in this one. We'll be right back. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work with a strong passion for excellence. Welcome back, everyone, to Western New York Athletics. 821 to go in this one. Number 57, Amari Jenkins was brought up, but he's being helped by a teammate and one of the assistant coaches. As you hear the whistle being blown there. Now trying to resume action, 8.15 and counting. Second down goal here, and this will be a touchdown for Lion. Number two that time, able to get into the end zone, Jalen Babers, and is now brought back up to a two score lead with 8.12 to go. That's tough. Right after an injury like that, that's exactly what you're going to do is you're going to attack that right there, right? Right up the middle, right where that spot was. Here's now the snap. The kick is on the way. And the PAT is good with 8-12 to go in this one. Line up on Hilbert 35-21. That may have been, you know, that, that's going to be the tough one right here. But now you've got it. Your defense has done it all day, right, for Hilbert. Really has. I know you can't tell by on the score, but a couple of the short fields in there really, you know, this is a close game. This is now where you're asking your offense to now come up big. So they've got to come out and do something big right here to get the momentum back on their side. This is not insurmountable, right? Two touchdowns is by far not insurmountable and still an opportunity out there, but it's got to start with the offense right now on this drive. Here's now the boot. Deep kick here and going inside the 10. Robinson trying to go towards the left side. She's trying to shake off one defender. Now moving back over towards along the right hash. Pass to the 20 and at the 25. That's where Hilbert will start off with their possession. So Hopkins along with his running back, Darian Reed. And they'll go with four wide receivers this time. Off the snap, the quick pass, and it's immediately deflected. Second down and 10 coming up. Down by number 18, Wheeler. 
ends up tracking down. I think there's going to be a little loop game after this one's done. If you take a look at all the little loop players, uh, you may be able to see them in the in the screen when we go to our uh, our up our up camera. But they're getting ready to play a game out there next. <laughs> Here's the snap. Reed trying to get this one up the gut, and we'll get about a couple of yards or so. And quickly, third down coming up with 7.45 to go in this one. So big third down play right here for Hilbert. This is, you know, where they've struggled on the third and long here a little bit today. And this has got to be an opportunity for them that they've got to get. Going to go four wide. Hopkins pass. This one is caught by Quantrell Moss. We'll see if he is close to the first down marker. Me, looks like he's just short, about a yard, maybe two yards shy. You got to think. You have to go for this at this point. So they are going to go for it. Going to go four wide. Trips to the right now. One to the left. Reed into the backfield, and it's going to be a draw play. Did he end up getting that first down marker? I, I don't think he did. Looks like he is short. Had to get to, looks like the 36 to pick up the first. They initially have him right around the 35. They're going to measure, though. They're going to measure this, so it's closer than we think at this point. But I did find it interesting. Did you see the multiple Lion players going the other way with it? And I didn't see the Hilbert players doing that. So you wonder if they're seeing something a little different out on the field. <clears throat> going to see the official... First down marker, and it's short. And Lyon quickly able to get a turnover on downs and putting themselves in very good territory at Hilbert's 35. You know, that's the one spot we talked about multiple times today that we really needed to see them convert to be able to get that first, you know, first down opportunity and to get a chance to keep driving and score. Now you're putting a lot on your defense right here again to try to come up big. Out of the shotgun formation. Here's the snap and the carry. Trying to use that speed towards the left side there. Ball was live, but running back was down before the ball came loose. Scotty Mitchell there getting on the tackle. We'll bring up now a second down and about six to go. And even though Lyon has not had their defense as successful as we've seen with Hilbert so far, they've done well you know, with that mix of that run and pass to try to get this Hilbert defense a little bit off guard. With the snap. They're just going to keep the ground game going here, picking up the first down and more. So he's brought down close to the 20-yard line. And it looks like they'll put him at around the 21, picking up the first. One of the things I thought Lyon has done well, really, is because they were stacking the box. They were really trying to stop the run. And when they were stacking the box, they were actually getting great penetration when it was time for the pass to not give the quarterback any time to throw the ball. It didn't matter who was that quarterback today. Off the snap. Oh. And that, yeah, that's, call is dead that, there. That, that's a bad one. <laughs> and probably the most obvious face mask penalty I've ever seen, literally ripping the helmet off the ball carrier. 
face mask on the Hawks to a 15-yard penalty and a first down. So a first down there for Lyon. So I'll push them probably inside the 10-yard line. So now 5.27 to go in this one. Lying now with a good chance to try and put up 40 on the board. Looks like they actually spot him just outside the 10, putting him at the 11. So right now the clock's now ticking away with just over 5 to go in this one. Here's the snap, it's high though, but still trying to get the ball away and immediately wrapped up and brought down was number 99, Clifford Ziegler, who overall defensively has had a very good game. He really has, and he's been, you know, he's been another one of the big defensive players that have really come up big today. And, and again, we've talked a lot about it um, from the side, but well, how, you know, Thomas Point Dexter, you gotta give him, he's got the, interception for the touchdown that's out there. And then earlier in the game, you know, we talked about also um, the big interception that led to a touchdown right there by K. K. Michael Clark. Here's a snap. Trying to cut it over towards the right side as he's pushed out. His Babers will be at the three-yard line. So I'll bring up now a third down situation. And you can see they're just taking the time right now, sending in those plays. They want to use the entire clock up right now. Funk with the ball carrier giving it over to Babers, and he's in for another score. Another multi-touchdown performance for Babers. And with 401 to go here, they've now cracked over 40 points We're and, a penalty a, and a penalty marker's down. Against, that's going to be an um, unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against the i got to be honest with you, he was coming running in that I thought he was going to say it was down and then all of a sudden put up his uh, touchdown right there. I actually was shocked that the touchdown signal went up I thought he was going to say it was short, and then obviously there were some players that said something to him, and that's where the unsportsman. And here it is again. There's another one. There's going to be two of them here. I thought there were two because there was a later flag that was thrown. Did you see that? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, I believe they did call the first one. Then the second one came up. That's what 29 was on Hilbert. It's like 3 and 29 for Hilbert. They got called for the unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. So Romero Castillo will boot the point after try. And with 401 to go in this one, then are up 43 to 21. So as this game has come along so far, there's definitely been a lot of positives that have happened on this Hilbert side, showing a good promise into the run game and made some very good plays on the defense as well, including the pick six we saw from Thomas Pondexter. But as the season you know, comes close to an end for Hilbert here, Lyon actually will have a couple more games to finish off their regular season. 
But for Hilbert here, you know, coming into this matchup, you know, and I spoke to uh, head coach for Hilbert, Ted Edgar here, you know, he just wants to see, you know, the amount of development that has shown so far. And as the season has gone along, you've seen that so far from certain parts of both sides of the ball. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, injuries have also cost the team a little bit, right? If it wasn't injuries, there were other things that, uh, that cost the team here. But you saw the development. You saw them get better and better and better. See, it wasn't one. This was two. This was yep. two penalties. That's what I thought was happening, right? So, you, you know, <laughs> you're going to squib kick it is what you're going to do right here. Can you get three points if you do it that way? I'm kidding, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can't do that. <laughs> It looks like the win moved the football. I'll go ahead and uh, reset and Romero Castillo. Set up for this one, and he'll just boot that one away. And a pretend three points on the board, we'll say, Tom. <laughs> so, Tom, real quick here, you got four minutes to go in this one. What do you think is going to be the – Big key drive here on the offense, the way you know, this game is shaping up. You mean what we've seen so far in the game? Yes. I, you know, I, it's the run game. There was, you know, early in the first half, I thought there were some great drives by the run. Remember, we were talking about the time of possession and what they did, and unfortunately just didn't carry over to the second half. Ball's bobbled. Hopkins trying to find a man. And he's able to connect to one person, able to get the first down and more to around the midfield marker. A beautiful job by Hopkins to pick up the ball and look for an open man. It was over to 82, Charles Young. So you can see right there, great opportunity. Hopkins could have easily lost that ball. Does a great job of picking up. A little bit of his baseball background right there coming into the plays. He uh, got to be able to pick up the ball and then made that pass to the open man. Got some help from his uh, line, as you saw, cleared out the way a little bit right there to be able to help him get some extra time. So at the midfield marker, Hopkins going to chuck this one, and it will go well out of bounds here towards the line sidelines, falling incomplete. So they have the ball at actually the line 49 yard line. <laughs> Sticking with four wide receivers, trips to the left, one over to the right. And the draw play here, able to give it over to Reed. And he was met up right at the a line of scrimmage there. And they'll set up a third down, no gain on that one. and puts him into that long third down right here. So this is where you've got to ask your line. You need a little bit more time so that he can find his open man out there. They're only bringing three right now, so the line's got to give you know, Hopkins some time to throw this. Trying to go with the four wide receiver set. Showing there's a blitz. Ball was batted, not once, but twice. And it falls incomplete, and I'll bring up fourth down. You know, what this, being that this is Hilbert's last game, what it'll give Hilbert the opportunity to do is now work on the recruiting trails, what they're going to do. They'll get an advantage while other teams are still playing that they're going to be able to go out and talk to players, get an opportunity to really hit the recruiting trail hard and have their first true full year of recruiting. The snap, Hopkins 
Going to dump this off over to his running back and Reed. It has a lot of space. Trying to get it towards the outside to pick up the first down. And he's down officially at the 39. But that should be enough to pick up the first. And the chain gain will move. Remember, we've been talking about that screen play and what it can do right there. And when you have a line that's getting you know, penetration into that backfield or deep into the backfield, that's when you really see an opportunity to throw that screen and take advantage of that aggression. Sticking with four wide receivers. Hopkins passes caught. Checking off one defender, juking another. And running into a man around the 20, officially down at the 19-yard line. That was Devon Cockrell. We know Lion wants to get out of here today because they want to get back for homecoming. It is homecoming for them today. And able to do it to put themselves in a position to be even at 500. Hopkins pass here is caught by Quantrell Moss. So he's brought down. As they try stopping the clock a little bit. Now at 140. Well, it's been the best drive so far by the pass that we've seen for Hilbert, right? Really finding open men right out there. The line giving some time, doing a good job right there. And now is an opportunity to put points up on the board. First and goal coming up here. Hopkins gets set out of the shotgun. Four wide receivers once more this time. A run play to Reed. He's trying to get himself into the end zone, but he'll be pushed away close to around the two, maybe three-yard line. Well, you definitely can't waste a lot of time here, right? You got to get up to the line right here, try to punch this one in, and then go for an onside kick. Second and goal with 1.12 to go in this contest. The snap, trying to go for a pass. He's hit hard, but did he get the corral for the touchdown? He did. The way to stay poised in the pocket, Brody Hopkins hit as he throws and is able to give it to his man, Bryce Robinson, for six. Yeah, got it off just before that hit. Did a great job of staying in the pocket especially when you're feeling that penetration comes in, right? But does a great job of staying in the pocket. They're going to go for two here, it looks like. And this will be the most points so far offensively uh, or that the team has put up Hilbert so far this season. So another positive that you build up on for the last game. Sticking with that same formation, this time one-man motions from left to right. Two-point conversion try. Here's the pass. Trying to get it back to Robinson, who had the touchdown. But this time, the two-point conversion is no good with 105 to go in this contest. A beautiful job there by Robinson. Seeing that pass was low, definitely getting hit right there. Definitely affected the throw, but able to get his arms underneath him to get that breadbasket-like catch. Yep, great job right there. Great job to be able to stay in there. Especially when you you know you feel that pressure coming up, you really do. And he knows the pressure is going to come. He knows he's going to get the hit and still gets the ball off. You got to give him credit right there. So you know, right? Everyone in the stadium knows right now. An onside kick is coming right here. So you'll see the hands team come up here for Lion. In fact, look at look at how many people are up. They're only going to send one back. It looks like the entire team is up here. See this? You know, one of the other things we've seen a lot covering right now is teams kicking to this open area, right? You can't see it right now, but between the 45-yard line and, and the 20-yard line, people trying to kick into there to see if they can actually get the ball there and get to be able to cover it before Lions backs up to try to get to that point. See what they try to do here, and it's just going to be a squib kick. They try to do it around that area, and immediately the returner that time is able to just corral it, and Lyon will have their final possession of this one with 104 to go in the game. So, folks, if those of you that are watching this game that are Hilbert fans, we will do interviews after this game. 
We'll be putting them up on social media either later tonight or tomorrow. You'll see some stuff. We will absolutely enter Coach Ecker. will be one of our interviews. And we are going to select, it looks like, three players of the game that we're going to select and talk to those players of the game. And we will have those out on the Western New York Athletic platforms. So look out for those interviews. So we got now Newman at quarterback as the running attack here on the left side keeps going strong as tackled inside, uh, excuse me, inbounds, not out of bounds there, excuse me, as Mobley there the ball carrier and the clock ticks away. And this pretty much should be the last snap right here. Mobley will be spinned and taken down by Ziegler. As that'll be no gain there with the third down. And that should be the final play of this one as the clock ticks down with 10 seconds left, nine seconds and counting. And Lyon, all the way from Batesville, Arkansas, comes into Western New York and picks up their fourth win of the season, defeating Hilbert 43-27. to Final thoughts, Tom. Turnovers, right? You, you take back those turnovers, the time of possession, things really went the way of Hilbert. Unfortunately, because of all those turnovers, they weren't able to overcome it, and Lyon becomes the uh, victors in this game. We want to thank everyone for tuning into this broadcast live on West New York Athletics' YouTube page. For our main camera guy, BJ Stack, along with our sideline camera, Mario Hall, our producer, Tim Gardner, our color commentator, Tom Prince. My name is Jacob Fayak. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this one. Lion takes the win over Hilbert, 43-27. to 27. And for the rest of you all tuning in, have a great rest of your weekend.